Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to take you to the scientific center. But before we go, we are going to eat at an authentic Syrian restaurant. It's called Al Saraya Palace. And I'm so excited to try the food. I cannot wait. And you're all coming with us. Yella. Uh, how many times a day do you think she practices saying Yella to herself in a mirror? It's so like rehearsed. It's so just, I can't, I can't stand it. Every video doesn't have to start with that. Yella. What's up with her face? Can we discuss for a minute while we have this pause here? What is going on with her face right here? Real question. Has anything been addressed? Does anybody know? This, this, okay. Someone was like, okay, well, the hijab is pulled back uh, more on that side. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Fine. It is. But then there's still something wrong with your face right there, ma'am. Is this maybe allegedly conspiracy, whatever, the uh, filters struggling because between you and him and the filters don't even know what the fuck to do anymore. So they're doing the half of your face that's closer to him and not the other side. Because if you look real careful at the picture, doesn't it also look like one of her nostrils is kind of pulled up? One side of her mouth is a little bit pulled up. You, I don't know. Is this my imagination? Because I can see it if you look real close at her. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I've never seen a face like that, girl. That's for sure. Amanda Beth, hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Someone said they look like Bert and Ernie, and now that's all I see. Oh, no. Well, now that's all I can see, too. Bert and Ernie. Oh, my God. Well, actually, with her face, the way it's jutting out like that, she looks like Stewie from Family Guy. She got that fucking football face. But we'll blame the filter for that one. Yeah, Bert and Ernie. Definitely, definitely looks like Bert and Ernie. Let's go. Okay, this music today sounds a little more Spanish. I'm sitting here grooving with it. But it's like, I, it doesn't match up with the images that I'm seeing on the screen. Not that I'm telling her to go back to that one song that she loves so much, but this one's a little better, not gonna lie. <laughs> A minute. Was that salad ahead of her on the stairs? Let's just go back. It is. Ooh, are we getting our first look at the chaperone? Because look at that. It is salad going way ahead of her on the stairs. She's the one filming, and there's a woman walking in between them. Is this the chaperone? Are we getting our first sort of look at the chaperone? Because why would a random person just walk in between them on the stairs like that? And we keep seeing that hand popping in and out, you know, like in the other videos and stuff. Interesting. I've gone back now. Let's let's get let's get a look at this possible chaperone. I don't really know. Hey Marvin, thank you for the super chat and thanks for being here. We're gonna talk about that after the two reacts. Uh, we'll talk a little. We'll, we've gone over it, but we'll re go over the hand motion as you're calling it, done by Salad, Chantal's response to it, and Amberlynn's clap back on the community tab. We were definitely going to talk about that today. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, wait. Can we go back again? <laughs> 
I missed it. I'm sorry. Wait, I got to get a good look. This, this, this is possibly the chaperone. Okay, let's watch. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So Salad is walking up the stairs. Then the presumed chaperone is behind him and looking back, either speaking to Chantal or like checking where's Chantal. Ooh, it's Aisha. Ooh. <laughs> So wait a minute. So what's the dynamic sitting at that table when they eat? Salad would be what sitting next to the other woman and across from his wife? What? <laughs> well, that is pretty fucking weird. That is pretty, pretty fucking weird. I have a big, like a, a question mark right now over my head. What? <laughs> And are we noticing again, they're at a place and there is nobody else there. They are the only people in the freaking restaurant again. Why? What is this? And then why are all those cars there? Every single time they go somewhere, it's the same. It's the same confusion to me because you see all those cars. You know that those cars have owners and yet everywhere they go, they're alone. Where are the people who drove all those cars? I'm so confused. I said this at the last restaurant. I said this at the restaurant before the last restaurant. Every single time, where are the people? Are What the shit is this? She's not married. Listen, Brooke, I'm, I'm not going to assume. She's, she says she's married. She's got that ring on until she confirms otherwise. I mean, I'm going to have to go with it, right? But it's weird that a married couple would need a chaperone. Is it a question of need a chaperone? Or is it somebody who, you know, is just there for shits and gigs? I see you guys, what you're putting in the chat. I mean, I I'm, I, I don't disagree. Anything's possible. Could be. Could be a sister. Could be who the hell even knows, you know? But it just seems weird if they're legitimately married. It's weird. Feral Goose Girl. Oh, my God. I love your name change. Thank you for the super chat. They go to the cheapest places. What's next? Yard sales. Well, the YouTube pay does drop tomorrow. I... I have a feeling we may finally see something new, but she'll go broke in like a day. Whereas YouTube pay used to last her about four days in Canada, and then she would start crying broke. Think about it. If if <laughs> it takes four Canadian dollars to make one Kuwaiti dinar, with that math, it shouldn't last her four days. She should be broke after a day. So I'm hoping we see something good tomorrow. <laughs> So this is just us flipping through the menu just to give you an idea of what kind of food. There was copyright music playing, so I do have to voice over and play non-copyright sounds. I apologize for that. Uh, we ended up picking some hummus with meat, um, some mashi, these stuffed eggplant you see there, uh, sorry, zucchini, stuffed zucchini you see there, and also some uh, type of meat with stuffed with cheese and uh, some bread and some olives. Uh, some type of meat, uh, stuff with cheese, and uh, why don't you ask your apparent Syrian apparent husband what are the names of these dishes at least, and maybe you could put them on the bottom of the screen. If you took the time the other day to tag, like, or to tag to to like label an old truck, the the back of the building, the side of the building, the front of the building, girl, the least you could do is put the, put the names of this stuff. That to me is gigantic burger with cheese. Like, I don't know what this is. I would like to learn. I love to learn. Hmm? Teach us something. Learn something yourself and then pass it along to the peasants. But be right about what you're passing along for once. Okay? Ooh.
Uh, thank you for the super chat. Filter straining like a black hole beside her face. That's what it is, eh? It's focusing on the middle. That's what I was thinking too, because he's on the other side. So it's like the filter's got him and half of her face, but then it's just given up because it doesn't even know what to do with the other half. Hmm? and things so this is actually what we ended up ordering uh you will see that and this syrian dessert here you will see this um in another video shortly yum let's eat okay she labeled she showed what maybe 10 things there and labeled one <laughs> great editing wow You know what else is weird that leads me to believe that there's another person sitting there with them at the table? These tight little shots. Do you notice? When she films him, it's like you don't see what could be next to him. When she's filming right now the table, look at the small little bit of the table we're seeing. She doesn't want to accidentally show the possible chaperone because we've already caught the chaperone in you know, shots before and stuff. Very weird. She doesn't usually kind of film like this. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this is a wild theory, but I'm into the gelato, okay? This theory is brought to you by gelato and mint. So make with it what you will. Uh, I see a lot of you in the chat before saying things like possible first wife, possible mother of Omar, you know, where we found on his Facebooks. Well, we found, it was found on his Facebooks that it had been written father of Omar wild theory. What if that was mother of Omar? And then what if the little trip to the petting zoo where they were literally the only people there with no children would make a little more sense if we saw the possible mother of Omar and Omar. Ooh, I just exploded my own head. Okay. Grain of salt. It's just a theory. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. Oh. Oh, okay, wait, there's no one sitting at that table. There's extra plates, but nobody's sitting at the table. Did that whole theory just go right out the window? Where's the chaperone? Did she just go to the bathroom or something? That's why she's filming suddenly a, a wider shot. I've, have I just gone off the rails now with theory? Not on his side. Well, she wasn't on her side either. Ooh. Oh my God. Karen, FFG, what if the kid at the zoo who told her La! was Omar? Could be. Who the fuck knows? Oh my God. Hold on, I'm so deep in this theory now. I don't want to let it go. Chantal's rig scale. You'll see the chaperone sitting behind Foodie Beauty later. Mm, is that right? Okay, everybody keep their fucking eyes open. <laughs> we got to find this chaperone again. <laughs> what? P day today. Hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Well, Frenchie, I guess I'm a week or so. We'll see if Pete's gets an eviction notice. Oh. Oh. Crap. I forgot all about the villa. I'm sure Chantal is going to pretend the same thing, but I literally forgot just now about that. Like Pete's was even a thing that existed and the villa. Oh, if she cut off his Uber Eats, do we think she's going to pay the rent? Because she did kind of allude the other day that she would probably be leaving early. And if like she's going back next month, she's going to need a place to go back to. Would she really fuck around with the rent when she's going to have to go back there? I don't know. Hmm. She won't pay grandma's, but you think so? Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't know. Graveyard Flowers. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. All the reviews for this restaurant say the food is Lebanese. Is that right? <laughs> Way to go, Chantal, as usual, giving us all the right information. Uh, I love Chantal. Every, th every single thing she puts on one of the videos or takes the time to edit in is either stupid or completely wrong. And I love that. Consistency. Consistency. Candy, she can't go back. She's married. So where's she going back to? I think I've gone like weeks ahead of questions here. Let's wait and see where the fuck she goes back to. What the hell do I care? She can go back to her mother's for all I care. Ugh. Delaware Pearl, thank you for the super chat. This is the worst travel channel ever. Uh, totally, totally agree with you. This is, it's just so bad. I have no words besides bad. Even the food, why, why is all the food look bad to me? And like, I'm not a person who ever says food looks bad. It's just, I'm sick to death of seeing the same sort of thing. It's always the same sort of thing. And like, I don't know. <laughs> That's gamista. That's freaking, what do you call it? Dolmadas. Like that, why are they swimming in oil like that? I don't know. I like, I like to see food that, let's say, my dad can't just fucking whip up for me and then my dad's food also looks 10 times better than this. I'm just saying! There's nothing impressive about this. Potato floating in oil? It's not even... No, I think it's stuffed zucchinis. I, I forget what they call them. They, they had a word for it there, too, but in Greeks call it yamista. Um... It's delicious, but why is it floating in so much oil like that? And then why are the dolmadas also floating in so much oil like that? Why is that shit hacked, uh, the, the, the fish like hacked up like that? It's just, I don't know. I'm a lover of food and this doesn't look great. <laughs> Girl tube, it's so fresh. Fresh. You got to do it with that creepy ass voice from the other day. I also, yeah, Lynn, Bagel Buddy, same. I love dolmada, the stuffed vine leaves. Love it. Like. That's just an excessive amount of oil on there. I don't know. I don't know. I can't be doing with the oily sheet. It's ju it's just too much. Wait, what? Oh, ooh. Gucci Gang Gamer Girl says, it's not fish, that's stuffed meat? Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Damn, even when I zoom in, that looks like a white fish with a crust. Okay. Burger King Wedding Buffet Bees. Thank you for the super chat. I hate this music so much. Only watch for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Also hate the music. Um, I, how many videos can have the same god awful music? Can't she branch out? Just because you're in Kuwait making like videos like this, you can use other videos or other music in these videos. You know what I mean? Uh... Common Sense, FFG, Pete said in his live two days ago, Chantal is still paying his rent and she spent three hours in the ER thinking she was having a heart attack, but it was indigestion. <laughs> Thank you for the tea. Love that. Uh, how can I say this nicely? Chantal saying that she's going to do something is one, some, one thing, but Chantal actually doing something is something else. Now, uh, I'm saying that just because she's a liar, right? Just because I don't give a damn what Chantal says. If she said she's going to pay the rent, if she didn't want to, she's not doing it. But I still, like, I think she will because she needs to go back there when she gets back from Kuwait. And I still think she's going back there even if she's married because, like, where's she going? Jenna, hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. She's not going to pay the rent at the villa. After all, she paid her husband to marry her. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, I, I don't believe so. It's funny to think so, but I don't believe so. I genuinely think this is transactional. She's the one who's been, I'm doing like money in my hands thing now. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> oh, common sense with the facts, no printer. Mm-hmm. 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 Wait. Ah, uh, that would have been all over Twitter. You're right. You're, anyway, I, ju I just really, really think Pizza's mom? No, Pizza's mom is staying where she's at. She's going back to the villa, but I think, here's my theory. When she goes back from Kuwait, she's going back to the villa, but she'll only probably be there like a month. 
Like she's going to find something. You know what I mean? Very, very temporary and get the hell out of there because she's married now. Does not respect. Julie, thank you again for the super chat. She better take her for Afghani food. It's good. I, I love Afghani food. But is it just going to look like all the rest? Because it's not that all these cuisines aren't to die for. Are they going to really good restaurants? I don't know. That restaurant doesn't scream amazing to me. I don't know. Look at look at the ring on that. What are those? The stuffed zucchinis. Why is that like greasy orange ring like halfway up the side of that dish? It gives you the vibes like somebody ate out of that dish first and then it was refrigerated and now they're like reserving it to you. I don't know. There's something fucking weird. Different Sage, thank you for the super chat. Chantal makes me cringe every time I see her. Salad looks scary to me. Does he? I agree with the Chantal making you cringe, totally. You get scared vibes from him? I get like very much fuck my life and like already dead inside at 30 years old vibes from him. But that's just me. No, I wasn't dead in inside till at least 35. Come on. daintier bite than Chantal has ever taken of anything. That was quite the dainty bite. I hate to rewatch anything to do with the mukbang, but I gotta get a look at this bite. Look at how small that dolma is. Bitch, just chuck that thing in your mouth. What's the matter with you? We don't really need to see the inside. I'm sure everyone has seen the inside. She's eaten these a million times and shown us the inside. Is this supposed to be like bleh, seductive? Bleh. <laughs> Sir, please don't make eye contact with the camera while you go to take that bite either. That's disgusting. Why was, why, why was that? Why is that a thing? Why? Why did she do that? It's hummus. Like, I like hummus as much as the next person, but I mean, it's fucking hummus. Oh, was that shh? I said shh. Oh, okay. That went right over my head. I'm like, what is this? Does she think it's cute? Is she like, ooh, I have all the mystique and allure with my fucking, it's not a jalaba, but I always forget the word. Abaya, there you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna do seductive hand motions now. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Chantal, eat your fucking food. Relax. Stop it with the overacting, okay? Nobody likes hummus that much. Take it down like 16 notches for fuck's sake. Oh my god. I hate this. I I hate this the most. Ugh. Simply a viewer. Thank you for the super chat. Hey, FFG, did that arm not have the same type of black beaded bracelet? I didn't see any bracelet at all, to be fair. I saw the, the like, arm hole. <laughs> I know the technical words for things. I saw the arm hole of her abaya. Could be wrong. <laughs>
this is disgusting. Chantal, you don't make the food look good. First of all, the, it's a potato, okay? As much as I love a potato, it's a fucking potato, okay? Relax. Relax. She's acting like she's like, ooh, I'm eating something so exotic. Let me add special different music for this bite. It's a fucking potato. What's the matter with you? I also hate this music. I hate this camera angle. I hate what she's trying to do here. Be like, you know, okay, the vibe is like travel vlogger goes to some amazing exotic restaurant spot and is now showing you a couple of bites of what they're eating. Here's the difference. Those are actual travel vloggers. You're only seeing a couple of bites of what they're eating and then the rest of the video or videos would have nothing to do with food. It would be showing you actual interesting and exciting things to do in Kuwait. All we keep doing is seeing your fucking food. You can add all the background music in the whole world, girl. You're still just fucking siphoning potatoes into your face. Okay? No one cares. gonna have to skip ahead here for my sanity this is already the longest monday of my life uh <laughs> this is pushing me to the edge okay watching this idiot with this stupid fucking why is the music triggering me worse than anything all she's doing there is sitting there stuff in her face I, we, what do we need this for the music the video all of this what do we need this for Chantal, stop it with the fucking food outings no one cares you're in an empty restaurant there is no one so actually there's one guy sitting back there I see a guy. Okay. You're in a restaurant with one other person. Again, there's no people. This isn't interesting. The food doesn't look good. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. And that's not hate. I, I love all food. Okay. Change it up. Fuck. <laughs> Go to the fucking Cheesecake Factory for fuck's sake. Woo. P-Day today. Thank you for the super chat. On Twitter, I saw where Foodie got a bit. Uh, yeah. She apparently got bit on her finger. Someone pointed out she wasn't wearing the ring. Oh, really? Oh, well, we're going to be watching that one next, so I'll have my eyes out for that. No, and I don't want to see him either. I fucking himself while he takes bites. That's right. I was going to skip ahead. Let's do that now. Oh, thank God. Okay, they're all done and they're getting the fuck out. One more tour of the Syrian decor before we head out. I was going to say, where, where's the Syrian decor? She hasn't focused on anything that looks like anything at all. Oh, okay. That, that lamp. Okay. Fine. Fantastic. That was worth making a whole fucking video over, right? Way, way to show us the, the exotic beauty of Syria. Omar, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. This woman is more beautiful than 90% of us. Absolutely.
You enjoyed the food, honey? It was so, so delicious. I think we're both stuffed, huh? You've had enough to eat? <laughs> My stomach is full and uh, we enjoyed the food. It was so delicious and uh, fresh. <sighs> now we're gonna go check. Pizza! Leave! Check out the scientific center. Yalla, let's go. Yalla. Miss Movie Bop, thank you for the super chat, girl. Same, agreed, totally. And also not. <laughs> Here we are. Oh my God, here we are again at another beach and there's not one person. I can't get over this. How did she find an even more place to go than Ottawa? It's, this is beyond me. Fork Sniffers Anonymous, thank you for the super chat. Hey Frenchie, just a theory. She's been tagging brands on her IG. Ooh, what if this is her attempt to set a foundation to try to get free food in hotels. <laughs> I wouldn't put that past her, not for a second. That's a theory right there. Hello guys, we got a strong wind here near of the beach of the Pacific. <laughs> I mean, it might just carry you away, a little piece of salad, but your wife is good. Don't worry. Just grab onto her. You'll be anchored to the earth. Dicey Laura, thank you for the super chat. Is it feeder content? I mean, like, yes and no. She's making her own feeder content because she can barely stuff her face. So this is like creating her own food porn now. So when she's like hungry later when they go home, she can sit and watch that video back in silence and be like, mm, remember when I ate that? Remember when I ate that? <laughs> 